Today, our local lens segment is at the Garden Patch Thrift Shop, and this is a part of the Greenhouse Ministries here in Murfreesboro. We're really, really close to the, the taller skyscraper everybody knows about in Murfreesboro. And this is a great organization to bless folks right now. Um, a thrift store, they have everything under the sun. Let's see if Miss Jane's available. Hello. Hello. How are you today, Miss Jane? I'm doing great. Tell me a little bit about how Greenhouse Ministries got started. Okay, we started over in Franklin Heights, a project area that's now been torn down. Mm -hmm. And we uh, partnered with Murfreesboro Housing, the police, and the school system, <laughs> and which was really interesting because in doing that, we gained favor with the whole community and they saw that we were there with no agenda except to help people. That's hard to prove out, sometimes. Yes, and so then we got uh, a building over on West Lytle and we were there for seven or eight years. Outgrew that, moved to this location, and decided that we could add the fruit store, which we'd always wanted to do. Love it. And it's been a great service to people to find things. It's a great training ground, brings revenue back to the ministries. We have all kinds of ministries inside the greenhouse. Yes. But it takes about 500 volunteer hours a week to run this. So God has blessed it. Yes. It's his children helping each other. And, and that's, that's what, what he blesses. About. Yes. Absolutely. So we have all kinds of classes and programs for people. Uh, our goal is to help change lives. We're going to meet the immediate needs because sometimes people can't see past their need, their real need, and until you meet or the immediate need mm -hmm. uh -huh. They need So something. that's our first thing is to meet the immediate needs. Our, our logo is probably basically help educate and then connect got that and yes. you're um, doing it yes and Absolutely. so it's so fun because this community is amazing as you all well know yes everybody works together so it's very easy to connect people to the resources they need yes and that is a huge part it reminds me a lot of, I'm a former foster parent I am an adoptive parent uh -huh. and I remember when I had my children the Department of Social Services when yes. I got my kids from them that's really what a lot of what you do though but you're the you're like the icing on that basic thing and um, so today we're just featuring I want to come back and talk to you another day okay. about greenhouse ministries okay. and everything be else wonderful. because you do more than I could even share yes in a quick we're video. We're very blessed to be able to help people change their lives. Okay. But today you probably want to know about the thrift store. Today I want to know about amazing. the thrift store. We get donations from absolutely everybody. And they're wonderful donations. We they're not junky. They're strictly, strictly <laughs> from stores that are brand new. Yes. And so it's very easy to pass those on. We also have personal shoppers. We have two decorators who donate their time to keep it looking spiffy. Huh. And it doesn't stay here long. No. It moves out quickly. And we have wonderful sales. And you do not just have clothes. No. We have all kinds of common items, household items, books. And in the back, which we will look at today, we have furniture, wow. lamps. I didn't know that. Items. And actually, when you come back, this part of the store will be a tad Okay, you going that way or that way? It's going to be a third again as big. The decorations, it really is amazing the way it looks. Uh, yes, and it's so laid out well. I, I just bought some myself, so just saying. And children's clothes are so organized that people can tell quickly. Yes. That makes a difference and that keeps everybody coming back to see what they find. Look at the cute shoes, kids' shoes. And then scarves and books. Love the scarves and all the books. And right now, the rest of this, you know, today, The housing items over here, right? Yes. Ooh, I love that. Uh -huh. Home decor will be how much? 20% off. 20% off. 
And I noticed that you carry several name brands even. Yes, we have a whole section uh, across here of designer clothes, mm -hmm. and they're separated um, so that you can quickly go through them and recognize the labels. Now the others are, are nice, but they are the ones that um, have a tag on them. These over here are one price and these are the Yes. And these I noticed, I just shopped and bought a bunch of LuLaRoe and it was all brand new. Yes, I have some I, It blew me away. So comfortable. Yes, very comfortable and always looks nice. I love this. This looks great. Looks fun. Mm -hmm. So tell me the most exciting thing that's ever happened to you while working this ministry. Oh, one thing. If you got to pick one thing. I don't know that I could because <laughs> it all sums up to when somebody... Uh, realizes that they can do what they never dreamed of doing. My theory is that just as our faces are different, God puts something different in each one of us. Yes. Totally. There's a personality inside of us, and if people don't know that and they're just living in survival, they don't know that. And so mm -hmm. when you help them discover that they are unique and they have a gifting that's theirs, and you fan that and help them discover it, Mm -hmm. That is the most exciting thing in the world. And that's happened a lot with the program that we'll talk about next time okay. in the Hand Up for Hope program where we concentrate okay. with a family for a year. I'm excited about that. And we that. have another program called Pathways where we do that just for job school training. So you spend a little more time. Actually, our whole goal here is to build relationships. But you have to help with the meaningful part that's bothering them first. And then you build the relationship and then you can help them. Well, it's a blessing to know the ground's level at the cross, right? You got that right. It doesn't matter at all where Not you come all. from. Not and once, once, once you accept him as your Savior, we're all yeah. part of the family That's of it. God. That's it. And then we can do anything because he doesn't want us to suffer. He wants no. us to, to his, grow and share kids. him. That's right. He wants we're us to do kids. awesome. And we know how we feel about our kids. Absolutely. I love your story. Thank you. Thank you so much for letting us take a peek inside today. And we just look forward to what's going to happen as it grows. Um, I'm just impressed by the organization of the items, the pricing of the items, and the availability. Yes. That's huge when you're talking about a thrift store. And we have so many volunteers who come and they enjoy, of course, they find treasures while they're doing of it. Of course. But they love to decorate and set it up and fix it where people love to be here. Well, of course, you know I'm a realtor. Mm -hmm. And uh, so my shout out is to one of my clients. All right. Who is one of your main volunteers, okay. Jennifer Sanchez. Mm -hmm. Who's um, now an employee. Oh, okay, <laughs> wonderful. Yes. So you've snagged her. She's we great. Did. She's and so she, she is fantastic. Oh, yeah. So I'm just so excited. Yes. She said you got to go by and see it again. So uh -huh. I, that's exactly what we're doing. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Miss Jane, for showing us around. And y'all come out to Greenhouse Ministries Thrift Shop. What's the address here? 309 South Spring Street, right downtown, right across from our only skyscraper. That's exactly what I said outside, <laughs> word for word. Is it? The only skyscraper in Murfreesboro. That's you right. can see it, and I took a picture That's going right. that way. Mm -hmm. All right, well, come out and see us. This is the thrift shop. Guys, you really do want to check this out. Men's, women's, children's, everything you can think of that you might need. I'm just going to say it puts a lot of other options to shame. Hey, y'all have a great day.